Um, I want to start off with giving all praise to Saul and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahshai by Shem Kakadash. The bottom to the elders and apostles of great most on Shalom to the Hope this video will be edifying and let's get into it now. This Mark chapter 8 and let me start at verse 35. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. You see, so if you lose your life, you know, you lose your, everything starts going bad for you, you lose your job or, or um, things, uh, you lose job opportunities or big time opportunities that would make you great in this so-called kingdom. But because of the name Yahweh Bashim Yashai, you basically... <coughs> you basically uh, um, don't uh, take those offers, you know. We have, I know lots of brothers that could have a good uh, paying job, uh, a very well paying job, but they could be famous off, off of the talents that they have, you know. But instead of uh, being worldly, instead of... Uh, um, um, forsaking Yahweh Bashim Yashai, they kept, they, they, they still, they still doing the work, man. You know, they, 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 they rejected, uh, um, um, they sacrificed basically their hobbies or their, their, their personal desires for Yahweh Bashim Yashai so that they can, um, basically prophesy and, uh, focus on the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yashai and make this truth their priority. You see, so, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. People that want to be in the world, you want to make all that money. Look, there's nothing wrong with making money. But there is making money and there is making money as, as they say in the world. You know, in the world, they, they any everything is about money, man. You know, all oh, money this, money that. You know, gotta get it any any means possible. possible. Gotta get it off the mud, this, that, that. You know, there is, there's two types of money, man. There's two types of getting money. You know, one, the, the scriptures talk about labor not to be rich. You know, you don't have to labor to be rich. You know, there, there, there's, it's not, it's, you, it doesn't benefit you at all, man. You know? So, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. You see, so you lose your life because... A you 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 um, reject uh, that path that you could have went because of your talents. You re rejected it because you knew that if you would go that way, uh, you wouldn't have time for the truth and stuff like that. You go you 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 actually uh, saving your life, man. You know you saving your life, man. You know so. Verse 36, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You see, what is, what, what is it going to profit you if you gain the whole world, right? You get everything, all the riches, all the desires that you have. But you have no morals. You have no integrity. You, you, you have to do shit, filthy shit in order to get that money or... You have to do left-handed work to 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 do that uh, to get that money and stuff like that, you know. Well, what does it profit you? It profits you nothing, man, because you lose your soul. You destroying your soul, and the most I gonna kill your your ass, man. He gonna kill you, you know. Look at these celebrities, for example, man. You know, you have a lot of people. They wanna labor to be rich. They wanna be. They wanna be the next big streamer. They wanna be the next big YouTuber. The next big celebrity artist. You know, the next big influencer. But you don't know what these all these people have to do behind the scenes, man. You know, they might have to sacrifice uh, family members. Have to uh, do all kind of filthy, abominable acts that the Most High Yahweh had despises. You know, so you don't know, man. You don't know. There's a reason the Most High uh, uh, um, brought us to, into this truth, man. We didn't choose Yah uh, Yahweh Bashim Hashai. The Most High chose us, man. Yahweh Bashim Hashai chose us. You know? I have chosen you out of the world. You know, as the scripture says, man. <laughs> Ecclesiasticus 14 and 9. A covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion. And the iniquity 
of the wicked dried up his soul. You see, a covetous person would deny or would uh, reject the Most High, man, and go after after his own lust, after his own pleasures. Like the scripture says in uh, 2 Timothy, you know? 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days perilous time shall come, you see. So in the last days, people are going to be like this. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, you can see that. You know, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy. Then we're going to jump to verse 4. Traders, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high, Yabashim Hashai, right? You, you rather go after your own lust than following after Yabashim Hashai. And you can see that in this modern-day society, also people that fell, fell out of this truth for a woman, you know, or for, for a better job opportunity or what the fuck ever, man. You know, you want to you wanna take your hand off the plow, the most high going to kill your ass, man. He going to kill you, man. Don't think shit is sweet, man. You know, especially, especially, especially if you left this truth and the Most High and you wanted to come back and the Most High gave you mercy and, and he actually allowed you to come back and then you leave again? Oh no, you, so you, you didn't disrespect the Most High once, you did it twice. It's not going to be well for you, man. It's not going to be well for you at all, man. You know, we had a dude in uh, um, the Holland camp here at GMS. You know, he left this, he left this shoot. Man, we, we, the most I exposed him, man, basically. You know, the most I exposed him, man. You know, brothers were, brothers was, um, brothers was um, concerned, man, because we didn't hear from dude for, for, couple of days you know nothing people uh, brothers color him he doesn't pick up then one brother um then one brother checks up uh to his house to see if he didn't die or something like that because you know and then you you just see him uh basically the most i exposed him the the wind the curtains were open and you could just see that dude was just cuddling up with it with his girl man you know, not showing up to camp, but this is what he does in his in his in his in his in his uh, free time, man. Cuddling up with his girl. Then when the brother saw him and he saw the brother too, he felt caught and his whole spirit it changed, man. His head was down, you know, because why the most high up he exposes your ass, man. You know, the most high gonna kill a lot of y'all wicked dudes that uh 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 um want to betray or not only betray but mostly you want to you want to you rather do what you want to do than follow your bashim yashai man anyway ecclesiasticus the book of sorak chapter 14 verse 9 a covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion right someone that's greedy as hell he is not satisfied with the things that he has you know here is it, the Most High fixes your ass up, right? He fixes you up, man. Brothers fix you up, you know? The Most High fixes you up with a good job, uh, a roof over your head, you know? Younger brothers don't even have a... have a, uh, 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 Younger brothers don't even have a, a house, man, a own house, you know? Because especially nowadays, uh, uh, getting our own house is starting to become more hard, man. Especially here in Holland. You know, there's a crisis in housing, man. You see? So, and then you you have you have one, you know, the most I fix you up good. And this is how you repay him back by not showing up to the camp. You know, there's counsel. You don't show up. You know, the most I, <laughs> the most I going to deal with a lot of y'all wicked dudes in GMS, man. You know, that, that y'all, y'all crept in unawares. I, I'm not talking about the sincere brothers in GMS, man. I'm talking about... Y'all, y'all, y'all dudes out there, y'all want to be lukewarm, you know? The most I going is going, there's going to be another shifting, man. There's going to be another shifting. That's what I do know. The eldest apostles been saying it, man. There's going to be another shifting, man. <laughs> Sifting. You see? Just like the scripture says in Jude 1, you know, some men have crept in unawares, you know? 
They crept in unawares, man. You know, they ain't supposed to be here, but they're here. You know, they, 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 like the scripture says, they sheep in, uh, they, they, it's like they wolves in sheep's clothing. You know, they say, Kwam Yasharala, they say, hey, Shalom, uh, you know, Yah, Bashim Yashai. But meanwhile, on the inside, they don't even believe really, or they don't even want to be uh, here even. They don't even, they don't, they are not even sincere about this truth you know so the most high he's gonna sift a lot of y'all dudes out and a lot of y'all <laughs> judgment is awaiting man because the scripture says judgment must begin at the house of israel man it must begin first at us man you see so we're gonna see man what the most high has in store for a lot of y'all dudes you know so back back again sirach 14 and 9 a covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion right He's not satisfied, man. Fucking greedy as hell. You know, ungrateful, greedy. You know? Can't see what the most high Yabashim he did for you and does for you. Fuck out of here, man. And the iniquity of the wicked dried up his soul. A wicked eye envied his bread, and he is a niggard at his table. Now let's get to Luke 12 and 15. And he said unto them, Take heed. And beware of covetousness. You see, beware of greediness, man. You know, beware of greediness, man. You know, you, you, so, um, some, someone has something, you want it also. You know, oh, uh, uh, I see this person has this, you want it also. You greedy as hell, man. You ain't satisfied with, with what you have. We got to be careful with, these, with this spirit, man, because this is a demon, man. You know, envying and being covetous. You know, never satisfied, you know, that, you know what happens when you, this is what happens. If you're never satisfied, it's because your, your flesh is overruling your spirit, man. You know, the scripture says, Galatians 5 and 16, for the, for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. You know, so it's a constant battle. So you got to make sure that your spirit is above your flesh. Your spirit is ruling over your flesh, man, and not the other way around. You know, the scripture in Prophet it says, he that had no discipline is like a city that is broken down and without walls. You see, so you got to have discipline, man, or else you're weak, you know. And someone that's covetous, he's weak, man, because he lets his flesh take over and basically his flesh rule, man. Because look, the flesh is never satisfied, man. You know, it always wants more. It's never satisfied, man. You know, Luke 12 and 15. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of things which he possessed. You see? Your life ain't about how much cars you have, how much houses you have, how much money you have, how much girls you have. It doesn't fucking matter, man. You know? That's not the purpose of life. You know? For a man, let me let me read it again, man. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of things which he possessed. You see, so this beautiful scripture to close it off with, man. I want to give all praises, all name, glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshah Bashim Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the whole elect. Hope this video was edifying and shalom.